Thank you. Thank you. My name is uh, Jay Chaudhary. I am the founder of uh, India Startup Foundation. Uh, this foundation we started last year to promote the startup uh, culture and also innovation and uh, creative culture uh, among the young people in India. And uh, most of the youngsters now these days, instead of working for companies, they're actually from the college itself, they want to become an entrepreneur and they want to uh, get into innovative products. Uh, earlier, uh, as all of you are aware, for 30 years back, when India started the IT journey, most of the Indian employees used to work in the so-called uh, uh, BPO or KPO related areas. They were not into the products or innovation or uh, intellectual property development. That's, that's how the journey in technology industry in India started about 30 years back. But now what happened is over a period of time, large number of uh, multinational companies starting from Microsoft, Google, Amazon, uh, NVIDIA, all these companies, they set up the R&D facilities uh, back in India, either in Bangalore, Hyderabad, Pune, in uh, some locations. So that created the R&D culture, innovation culture. Uh, for example, when I was the managing director of NVIDIA for India, we used to develop the core Tegra chip uh, in, in our India facility. So that kind of R&D work uh, we used to do when I was the heading the NVIDIA for uh, India. So that's an, uh, uh, kind of a new era of R&D in the technology space uh, started happening by push coming from the multinational companies who set up uh, the R&D centers in India. So in addition to that, what happened is uh, many premier institutions like uh, Indian Institute of Technology, uh, IIITs and uh, other uh, such premier institutions, they started also encouraging the, the students to work on the R&D and innovation. And also they created the incubation facilities at their uh, respective uh, colleges. So that also created a lot of uh, uh, students who are going through undergrad program or uh, the postgraduate program to get into the innovation and uh, creating uh, new products and uh, new innovations. And uh, a lot of venture capitalists and angel investors started investing in them. And that, that's how the journey of uh, uh, the Indian tech startup entrepreneurs started happening about uh, 10 years back. So in the last 10 years, if you see the growth of the startup companies in India, from nowhere it has uh, crossed already 100,000 startups registered under the India startup. Uh, 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 the government of India has got uh, uh, the facility where they can register as a startup. So their count itself has crossed 100,000 new startups. And most of the startups are actually uh, created by youngsters, either uh, uh, studying in colleges, uh, pre premier colleges like IITs and IIITs, or people who are working in the industry like uh, Google's of the world, Amazon's of the world, Microsoft of the world, they came out and they want to start their entrepreneurial journey. See, today, India, uh, with 1.5 billion people who are all digitally connected, it provides a good marketplace for any startup company because uh, uh, the way we transact our uh, financial transactions, even the remotest villages, farmers are using uh, the uh, smartphones, they use the digital payment mechanism to uh, pay to their customers or uh, uh, the vendors and things like that. So because of the digital uh, uh, even in rural area, there's a huge opportunity for uh, any uh, innovative startup to come out with a new application or a new innovation, new product, which, which has got market in India itself. That's the reason why we thought uh, we'll promote this entrepreneurship uh, through the India Startup Foundation. So we created the foundation last year and we, we ran uh, the India Startup Festival uh, the first time uh, in the country last year, it was the uh, ISF uh, 22, where we invited all the decision makers in the industry, the CEOs, CXOs of uh, various uh, sectors, not necessarily the tech sectors, even in the agriculture sector and uh, defense sector, sector, all the decision makers, uh, individuals, because uh, the startups require funding, the startup requires mentoring, 
and the startup also requires they can sell the products or the services. So that's the reason why uh, we came out with a, a networking conference called India Startup Festival, and that, that was held last year, uh, October 1st and 2nd. And after seeing the results, uh, we selected uh, about 15 companies who came uh, and registered uh, uh, this thing, about 2,500 startups registered for the ISF uh, competition. And out of that, we selected about 15 companies. And these 15 companies were mentored by 200 mentors. These mentors were drawn from the industry, uh, academicians, and uh, uh, also investors. They all, every week, we used to run these uh, mentoring sessions for uh, more than one hour. And every uh, startup company, they used to present their case, where exactly they have problems, and whether they want a funding uh, problem is there, or they want to uh, have the marketing assistance, or any technology collaboration, or mere uh, mentoring uh, uh, assistance is required. So we we were able to guide them properly. Today, most of these uh, 15 companies who were selected uh, by India Startup Festival were very successful. So we wanted to repeat the same at a bigger scale. This year, uh, India Startup Festival is happening next month, uh, the August uh, 10th, 11th, 12th. Last year, it was only a two-day conference. This year, it is a three-day conference because the rush Instead of 2,500 startups last year who registered for the ISF competition, this year 10, more than 10,000 startups registered for the competition. Out of that, we are going to select about uh, 20 companies. And these 20 companies uh, will have access to all the venture capitalists, all the HNIs, uh, high net worth individuals, and the Angel Forum uh, members. And also, uh, we invited not only the Indian uh, leaders. This time we invited global leaders from North America, about 60 uh, CXOs are coming from uh, North America. Similarly, London Chamber of Commerce is sending a big delegation from London Chamber of Commerce to participate in this uh, uh, India Startup Festival. Similarly, from other countries like France, Japan, uh, even uh, uh, Hong Kong, all these countries, they're sending their uh, representatives because India is a very big market. Even the startups are also participating in our uh, conference. For example, uh, the Hong Kong, Hong Kong, there is a, a, a incubator, uh, the biggest incubator in Hong Kong called uh, VHub. So from VHub, uh, the CEO for VHub is uh, uh, Karina Berin, and she is bringing uh, uh, all the finalists, uh, the fintech startups, to our India Startup Festival, and their competition is going to happen on the 12th of uh, uh, August. So we are able to attract. Uh, Many uh, other country startups also, they are coming to India and explore the possibilities of the market uh, because India is a huge market. Even in the rural India also, there are a lot of uh, market potential is there. That's the reason why many uh, countries, they are deputing their startups to come to India and explore the India business. At the same time, we are also helping the Indian startups also to come with the new innovative ideas because any new startup, uh, if they want to come with a product, the product ideas uh, cannot be done just after the college uh, with a routine kind of knowledge. So th that's where I liked uh, your uh, promotion of uh, innovation at the very early age, the school level itself. I mean, yeah, I, I saw, saw your website. I really appreciate uh, and congratulate what you are doing uh, to create the innovators at the early age. I think that culture is very much required because uh, this culture cannot be imbibed uh, just like that uh, uh, when they cross the uh, certain age. I think uh, it's uh, very, very important to nurture that culture of uh, innovation creativity at a very, very young age. That is the reason why in this uh, India Startup Festival, we have a round table called Innovative Kids. We are also calling the unicorns, like Sunic, uh, unicorns and sunicorns. We termed that as the unicorns. A 11 year old boy who was already registered a cybersecurity company and he is going to present his case uh, in the India Startup Festival. So, we want to encourage uh, the school kids also come out and start their own companies. They have got some innovative ideas. That's the reason why we have a round table. And uh, in this round table, uh, uh, right from uh, age, age group of uh, say uh, from uh, seven years to up to 19 years, they are allowed to send their ideas and send their uh, pro projects and all that to this thing so that uh, judges will assess. And based on that, we are planning to give some awards to these young innovators. So we need to uh, 
cultivate the culture of innovation right from the early age so that uh, when they grow up I mean they have a fair, fair idea about how do they compete in this complex world which is going to create new products almost on every month uh, either chat gpt or uh, some other uh, ai tools which are coming so in this kind of a complex and a competitive world unless the kids are told and uh, trained how to come out with an innovative mindset and innovative culture then only because every, every job they do they need to find a innovative way of doing it in a different way the routine conventional methods are failing uh, that, that's the reason why the culture of innovation what uh, your organization is doing we really appreciate and uh, we, we really congratulate and thank you for uh, creating uh, this as a major initiative and we would like to even sign an mou with your organization india startup festival would like to even sign an mou with you and also we would like to invite uh, you, uh, your team to come and participate in our next year uh, Uh, india startup festival which is going to be 2024 again the same uh, time frames august 10th 11th and 12th we'll be more than happy to have your collaboration because uh, you are really doing a great job of uh, creating the culture at the young minds when they are uh, at a very young age i mean this culture has to be uh, inculcated in their mind, minds so that uh, no more new innovative products uh, and more new innovative solutions particularly what we have seen in the rural india there are humpty number of problems farmers are facing and also so many rural india uh, indians are facing and i am telling everybody the young, young minds should uh, look at these problems these problems are going to be opportunities for them if they can come out with a innovative ideas innovative solutions and, and that's a big opportunity that's reason this conference man is uh, uh, the main theme of this conference is uh, innovation at the bottom of the pyramid why we are, we are uh, main theme is innovation at the bottom of the pyramid because bottom of the pyramid where a lo- lot of poor people in india are living farmers are living in the uh, rural area more than 60 to 70 percent of the indian population they are all living in the rural area and they are facing lots of problems uh, in the uh, rural area these problems are opportunities for uh, innovative kids or innovative entrepreneurs to solve through innovative methods so that's the reason why we picked up uh, rural innovations as a, a theme and innovation at the bottom of the pyramid as a theme and uh, also we are discussing about uh, rural health care rural uh, education rural finance and also the agriculture and the food the food technology how we can help the rural india to solve some of the Uh, perennial problems which they have been facing all these years through the innovation through the uh, the entrepreneurial mindset by all the youngsters and the entrepreneurs so that is the main theme what we are trying to do at the india startup festival uh, we, we, this will be available for you to watch live and uh, mr dr mahesh uh, will enable uh, to provide those links if uh, any of your uh, uh, members wants to watch uh, what's all happening at the india startup festival we'll be more than happy uh, to enable them to watch our uh, three day uh, conference at uh, uh, 10th and 11th and 12th and certainly uh, we want you to be our partners and uh, definitely we want you to be with us in the year uh, 2024 for the india startup festival isf 24 with this i want to thank all of you for uh, giving us an opportunity to speak uh, to your forum about what we are doing in india and how we can collaborate uh, with your organization thanks a lot if there are any questions i'll be more than happy to take thank you thank you very much i, I just had one quick question i was just wondering i mean this is a big undertaking a big and valuable undertaking that you are going through right now what do you find is most challenging that people can help with yeah see in india all these years uh, they have been going through a pedagogy which is uh, uh, i mean uh, memorizing pedagogy uh, in the schools and colleges now uh, we are bring, we are trying to bring the reforms in the school education uh, more uh, hands on experience experiential learning and we are trying to bring uh, uh, these reforms in the uh, school education as well as in the college education uh, because this innovative complex world requires a new breed of uh, uh, youngsters 
who can uh, think out of the box. So that was missing in our uh, education earlier. So now we are, uh, uh, thanks to our uh, government of India, recently they brought the new reforms. The new reforms are now being implemented across Pan-India and various schools and colleges. Hopefully with that, we will uh, get uh, more uh, youngsters coming out of the uh, current conventional uh, mode of education and we'll have more innovators coming out of uh, India. See, India's strength is uh, young population. Most of the uh, Indians are uh, at the age of uh, uh, 18 to uh, 30 years. And this population, if they are able to come with innovative ideas, they can solve many problems, uh, not necessarily in India, but anywhere in the globe. So earlier, uh, yes, we were not having the right kind of uh, pedagogy in our schools and colleges. Now we are uh, trying to rectify that uh, thanks to the new uh, reforms uh, introduced by government of India. Great. If, if an Indian entrepreneur is watching this video, is there still time to be able to join this startup or is it closed? No, no, they, they can uh, join the startup. Uh, uh, we, we, we welcome any uh, innovative startups anywhere in the globe. If they want to participate, uh, they, they can uh, uh, register with us and uh, they can also send, uh, I, I will, uh, maybe I'll ask Dr. Mahesh to give uh, my email address and also my Mahesh email address. They can reach out to us and we will be more than happy to have them uh, registered and uh, they can also watch the proceedings of the conference. They can also participate in the competition. And, and what does it cost for uh, an entrepreneur to be part of this, if to have a booth and demonstrating something? Yeah, the cost is very minimal. Uh, in the Indian rupees, uh, uh, Dr. Mahesh, are you there in the hall? It's, it's about uh, uh, one lakh rupees uh, for a basic uh, uh, stall. If you convert that into dollars, uh, I think it should be less than uh, uh, just over about a thousand dollars for a stall. Uh -huh. Great, great. Very good. Joy, I didn't want to hog all the questions. No. I, he did a very thorough job of explaining the festival, so I don't have a lot of questions, but I, I wish you a lot of luck with it. I hope you have a lot of participants in it. And, and um, know that after your festival, you can always come back in the October event and share or have some of your top innovators come share at that event and talk about what they've done and what they're doing with you sure. and how they're collaborating. We love to celebrate them sure. as okay. possible. Yeah. Uh, can some of our uh, innovators who are going to be uh, selected uh, during the conference, can they come and present uh, their innovations uh, in your October conference? Yes, absolutely. So um, as soon as you know who they are and um, you either select a time that you want to bring them all on together or you allow them to sign up on their own, whichever you want, even if they're not student innovators, if they have an innovation story that is inspiring and will help a student engage, that's important as well. So we invite them and we welcome them. Anybody that you feel would be a good um, representative for what you're doing there, we would happily have them on, sure. Is it possible for you to send us a mail with all the details so that we can forward that to all the yep. young innovators? So that uh, yep. they will uh, immediately apply for that uh, uh, and uh, they, they, they'll be able to get a opportunity to uh, discuss uh, what their innovation is all about. Yeah, we can after this event is over. <laughs> so next week. Sure, yay. sure, sure. <laughs> uh, so I, I, you, you, had said I that was, you had said there was some sort of a competition. Um, is what, yes. are the, what are the requirements for the competition? What do you have to do? No, this, this competition This competition is a two-level two competition. One is uh, for the startup companies. The startup companies, there are again two categories. Very early stage startups, where they are still in the idea stage. That is a very early stage uh, startup. One is a growth stage startup, where they have a product, where they have a revenue. These two categories, uh, they, they can compete uh, uh, in the competition. And whichever is the uh, uh, best uh, uh, idea or best product, or best company, they will get the prize money. That's one category. 
the other category for the innovative kids there is a separate competition is there because uh, they are all young people so they can submit their ideas whatever the innovative ideas they have and also that will be judged by the jury and the jury is going to select uh, during the uh, round table conference they will be announcing uh, which uh, student has won that uh, competition uh, uh, which are the ideas i mean uh, innovative ideas among the people who submitted so uh, that is not a startup competition it is a innovative kids uh, idea competition we, we we call it as a transformers because they they want to transform the world with their innovative ideas so that's the reason why we we also call it as a transformers uh, competition so uh, these are the three categories uh, we have one is for the regular startups and uh, one for the students uh, innovative kids uh, there is one uh, this thing and for the early stage uh, startups also they can register these are three categories well thank Thanks you for lot. spending spending time with us today and talking about the festival um we appreciate it and uh, look forward to seeing you maybe in october with some uh, people who are are some of your top innovators sure uh, once we receive the email from you i will enable that uh, during the october month all Thanks right a lot. you're Thank welcome you. Thank you. Bye-bye.